pedophile didn't ruin it. I want to think that this stupid low-life fuck should have kept his tiny cock in his jogging shorts and his hands to himself, but it isn't true. I simply can't see going through the trouble anymore. No one believes that it doesn't progress violently. You should hear the excuses they come up with and the explanations for forgetting them so quickly. The regret is fake but tolerated because the inability is so fucking average and understandable. There was a long shot of her drinking orange juice and listening to a reminder tell her how pretty she is going to make her. Clear, clear that she is listening very hard, as if preparing for something she might think is important or even fun. Something that a ten-year-old would like to get right, for fuck knows why, and this scene at the start of the video is truly hideous. Because I don't understand the creep's intention anymore. After all these years, I'm absolutely in the dark again. Anything I thought was going on is now just thick black mud. I'm confused and upset, and I tend to think about everything all at once, all the time. For some reason, I had a vein that includes more American girls than I'd ever had access to before. I like listening to them talk and see them hear and think, and perfectly true, I despise the gross pigs that assault the child over and over again. It won't stop, just as soon as it starts and I get ill. The wretches that buy the shit, that hunt it down and live their entire wormed lives through it. Every single overexcited minute of their crawling, digging, worthwhile lives. They know how to come just like me, fat, over 40, slumped and focused like slime. They come right away, on the most insignificant matter. And yet the animal that rapes this little skinny, perfectly formed child takes his time as if he's performing for a porn audience. Better to masturbate at the table she sits at, better to watch the action not stop, to let it barely progress from eating and existing, and then, just to make the fucking point perfectly clear, have her lift her morning t-shirt up to expose just her navel. Now stand up, turn around. Let me see how you're developing. Just quick. Just flashes. Just once. And that would be it. Or have her stop her pajamas. Have her drop her pajamas. To show just her butt. Now let her pretend she's silly and naughty. I know I don't want to see these little rats crawl up to mothers and get cuddled. I like watching a three-year-old breastfeed, which I've seen on film and it repulses me. Exactly is what watching retards do should repulse you. I don't want to see diapers removed, and I don't want to work out the differences between 11-year-old and old alls and 16-year-old blonde Christian slumps from Iowa. I do not forget the lithe primps cut out in bikinis and t-shirts that are too small for children. I fucking look for them and collect the ones that are closest to naked, and they do nothing but rehear arguments that are insulting to myself and absolutely everyone else around me. It's just this. I think that I could splice together a reel of just the bits before the moppets take off their clothes or get laid down and penetrated. Have someone edit out all the flesh underneath the throat, exactly like missing child posters and hunted pervert stills. No sex, no nudity. Just the idea and the presence and the context, disgustingly rendered like carefully constructed points. Conversational bridges and political opportunities, like filthy art. And if I ever get arrested again, I'll have my argument. But it won't fucking work because I see the other things and think it's not good enough. At the wrong time, it just is not. And it's irritating to have to not see the rest starting above her little nipple, progressing to instructing her to bend over across the table and pull her vagina open so that the slope can film inside such a clean-shaped crevice and then fit full and fat and viciously inside. You do need to see the rest, no questions. And then it figures that the little darling is even more dear and more deserving of your protection for the rest of your life, at least. Faced with the option, you wouldn't choose to talk to her just like an adult or listen to the sense she might be able to make someday much later. You'd find yourself appreciating the way she looks now for being in this position, and you'll have to agree that she should, she could look much better, actually. I've seen too many of these community-run arts and craft shows. Teens are not interesting, not pretty, not bright. They copy each other and still expect to be praised, and they're dumb enough to believe it. The girl is white. This is more important than the fucker's hard cock size. The man is not fat, and probably not in his thirties yet. He could be your father. They are both attractive people, especially together. I can't stand this world for you, little one. The pigs that grow out into home, hotel rooms and camp quarters and stupid words and skit. Just to film suck-offs, I'm sorry and I'm worried. The photos that come out of these miserable adult preoccupations are beneath you. And unless I drill it into that hard feminine head of yours, you just won't know it until you get as old as me. I don't want photos of you tarnished by evidence. I won't be able to bear you regretting the photos you've given me. I won't have you thinking that what you've given me and what I'll keep lies in the same mire as what these other animals do. 
these creeps and their pliable idiots. The women are often the ones more willing to do this, I'm told, and it isn't the worst thing in the world. I don't buy hydrogen peroxide and bring it in with me. I acknowledge that I think about it beforehand. There are buckets in these closets and faggots spit and piss into them. There are huge signs on the walls above the video machines that tell you about the Chicago laws and the illegal nature of dumping bodily fluids into public places. The buckets have something to do with that law. I think it is supposed to be for your tissue. I wouldn't talk to one of the twats at the upstairs counter to save my life. I've listened to idiots make small talk with them and pretend that they're enjoying themselves more. Ugly, snide, petty, like giggling little beefy queers. Snickering quietly after the facts come out of their failed dental training or their old papa's heart attack. I can't, I could ask the Midwestern dreck about who made them put big buckets into each still dirty booth and why. And I should find out if they understood. It only made them reek more. And didn't the rank bring extra bugs and health problems? Isn't someone at City Hall making a simple practical mistake? But I can't talk to these cocksuckers. I don't want to have to hear them or their drawls or defenses or work answers. The creep that pulled out a plastic bottle of peroxide from his windbreak offered me some as a way of apologizing for, needed, for needing to down it immediately. I do understand. I didn't need to watch him gargle and rinse it into the bucket, although I should have. It's amazing how popular this embarrassing grasp at unhealth has become. I should have watched because I'm absolutely sure that this psychotic cocksucker has been chawing on cock and quick comes and then, as soon as the tools buckle up and leave, he blasts the spray all around the booth, across the plastic chair on the four tight walls, into the coin slots and over the volume and channel knobs. He spits it up on his face and soaks everything around him, including his clothes, just to kill the fleas, maybe. It costs just a little over a dollar for quite a big bottle of the worthless antiseptic. It's easy to go by beforehand, harder to skip the demeaning process, and then find yourself rushing back to get it after the fact, letting your mouth droop open in public daylight while you pray that whatever germs and infections that can't exist in oxygen are exposed is you only walk as fast as you can, stand in line, and you pay. I had one boy asked me if I wanted to eat it when he was ready to come. So many of these more attractive Gap kids come in and never say a word. Look at the screen and beat off. You can only barely grab his cock. He wants to masturbate in front of you and look at you yank at yourself while you stare down at his hard-on. I understand that, too. And I like that he wants to watch how I stroke and thicken, wants to look, but can't drop himself to suck on it. Moles that want to see penis reactions only, showing my cock to prostitutes and young men who have radically varying degrees of interest in seeing it. I see these simple concentrating acts constantly. I listen to little girl singers now all the time, and cannot fucking move it out of this particular context. It is what I do when I masturbate over and onto their tight top and low, plant, low pants, clothes, pictures, almost always blonde, never all that interesting or sustainable, actually. Little silly lists. Dumb work boys who trot in here and sling their cocks out. Fuck are they to think this is an acceptable way to act, that they are to be indulged. Hideous cooped masturbation. How stuttered are you to just stand and barely fucking watch? <coughs> How come I know that they'll degenerate badly from here very soon? These young men are the same as the children everyone else wants to protect. I'm old enough to know that very clearly. Their baby limb crisis, something extra excuses them, they think. It ties them into all the rest of the quiet cocksuckers by simply keeping mute about it. Because everyone fucks something. And that's all these rants. All these rats want to do constantly. They only pretend. Because it would be better if they did, if they were if they were lost, uncontrollable, monomaniacal. Problem is they're not, and it isn't that bad, sweetheart. You weren't going to age well anyways, don't worry about it. So if you do How do old men make their life better? How do you clean up your life when you're past forty and look like you've lived getting there? Start getting rid of the flies in your apartment, silverfish in my bed. Be more careful about shaking my coat hard when I put it back in on the booths of adult on Broadway. Fuck, I don't want to stop looking at all the fucking time because I still don't think it is in any way destructive to me, except maybe in what it invites into my life from the idiots who make it their business to be aggressively stupid. I'm not going to follow them. Nothing changes too significantly. The way you see those kids that aren't ever going to be more attractive than you are, you barely have to decide to either keep fucking yourself or fuck them worse. How can an old slob like myself talk about molesting children anymore? What's a child to an old hog? Too vulnerable? I found a 20-year-old apartment hooker who's as dumb as any child I never get my fingers close enough to. Start with a suck. You listen to these fat old hens talking to monitors and they tell you how sad it is to watch these little children out there who grow up bent because some gross old pig placed his lips around a tiny little cock and drew in. 
And then these morons come in here with their baseball caps on loose jeans and tuck down thinking that they're just getting off. The age of these little children move, but the mentality doesn't shift, not enough. None of them are capable of handling what little there is that actually happens. You simply stop trying to gauge the tiny actions, make believe that there are seismic shakes and burps, but there really isn't any movement at all. I see very little difference, I swear, between these 14 to 18 year olds and the new school kids you'd have to knock out on drugs and drink to be able to slip them lovingly into your mouth. Pay old men that look deliciously better than you and your hogging, blobbing belly hang. The new faggots might object, whereas the old fathers won't. 16 and 15 year olds, how silly, how American, to worry about your first sexual experience or earliest education. I keep thinking that all I see and buy is kitty porn. All I do is search out wretched illegal matter that should be illegal but shouldn't be so unavailable. How sickening it is to pretend that the young plugs that I've had in here, that march in here, are any different from any displacement thoughts. Just because the motherly concern has melted away slightly to phone calls and dinners rather than the teacher meetings and babysitters, I do not see the difference, even in the aesthetics. Shaved, smooth, fat, stinking, firm, changeable, witty, intelligent, gym rats with tans that are supposed to fill in for Greeks who fill in for the little pricks you've been staring at while they bounce around your low-rent neighborhood, or the Russian street shits that line every library now fully clothed. The difference in size is everything, darling. This little packing faggot told me he hated body hair and big cocks, and they all say that, immediately. He liked very small pink assholes. Did everything I only fucking dream about doing with my big yapping mouth, apparently, and then sells me the stories, these repulsive zit kissers. They walk around with blonde, thin, red-faced boys wrestling with gender confusion at an even earlier age than the jerk-offs I get to come on. They undress them and suck them into erection as if they accomplished something from their side. They lick and suck and fuck tiny tight assholes that are easily kept that way through lengthened homosexual adulthoods. These old men who think they can slide under human radar and still come with other men. Old men with bellies so distended and drooped, you have to get on your knees to locate their dicks straight on and then see they're wearing cock rings. They're better than this. A thin boar in Paris wasting my time at a McDonald's talk down and on about nothing. I listen to him all day, yapping unbearable nonsense, and then I have to see the ugly beasts he fucks underneath all this makeup. They are foul, clowns, disgusting, trendy slobs and TV watchers. He wouldn't shut up and felt hurt when he sensed I would rather be somewhere else. You can't give up your time like that anymore, and the sex that you see was impossible. They think there is something fitter and worse that they deserve it, as if it's something not out of reach. But you have to understand something giggly so you can key in to receive it. These are stupid people, repulsive people. This cunt lapper, this cunt lapper who talked about the adult women he slept with as if he was offering a technique to get them, as if his choices were interesting. These thongs, these retards, wine sippers, sambas. I see it too much. I'm only interested in pretty girls now. I can only look at them. And I do want to see their flash, their faces slashed across like the criminals do to Ray Whiting, Peter Suckliff, and what they want to do to Ian Hotley. I couldn't touch these cunts. I'm completely petrified. I'm completely controlled by whatever it is I misunderstand by the media. I want these slim, cunted little girls, as young as personality allows, to raise their shirts just high enough so that I can see their navels. I'm a fat, over-middle, over-middle-aged stomach watcher. Some slug stuck at home masturbating at a little leg, which is how I know and why I'm right. It comes from listening to boys sing, from trouble. From filling my head and my apartment with these shrill, clipped voices and forcing the filthy cocksuckers that lay all over them out of my head. It comes from taking delight in the girls that'll dance and the boys who won't. Realizing that one is sold circumspect and the others to little girls looking for role model fantasies. Little mentalities that I want to see ripped open instead of preciously coddled. Girls get raped by unthinking animals like these. These faggot tonguers. This is what happens. The girls I choose do not dress especially sexy for an older market as a marketing ploy. They pretend, if they must, to be nice girls. As long as there's lots of bright clothes, and as long as they're flat and sprouting and look somewhat like the little cunt I've watched grow up inch by inch a million miles away from me. I asked her if she wanted to see me masturbate to the photos. I couldn't touch her anymore. I despise adults. I despise the adults. The idea of adults having sex, the sports of need, of embarrassing stabs, of tenderness and care. None of these animals would deny that, side by side, that the younger tweens come off infinitely sexier. The adults will lie, but it is true. Even in young adults, the lumps are degrading beneath the children. The cut-up children are my favorites, words only, not these Indonesian trolls 
These little six-year-old animals from Kuwait fuck her and the Arabs that raped her and murdered her out in the desert. I saw them hanging out in the photos of little shit stain they smeared across themselves. This is not at all what I want. You think I want to take care of these little cunts? You think I want to protect them? I want to babysit one single little hairless slash that I fucking picked out and saved from all of this. Not like one of these tortured fucking pedophile rats that thinks this may be bad for them. I do protect it, you cunt. That would be the difference. I don't fucking touch it. You suck on these pedophiles to get child pornography and suddenly you find yourself pretending you're the little girl or boy they want to fuck and do. A miserable place to stall, no matter how patently untrue. You remove yourself from it. You take your lips away. Your hand from their balls and your ass. And you place a nice photograph out on the floor and you rub your cock into nothing at all. Five minutes later, you tell yourself you won't do it. Right. Gary would come and he'd have the brawn panties there. And he'd say, well, we got this order and the guy already sent the... $250, so, hey, here, put these on, let's do it. And, I mean, at that point, I was just, I felt, you know, I felt like I didn't have a choice. I mean, it was already a done deal. I mean, I just, I, I kept saying no, and I didn't want to do it. I saw the video, mm -hmm. and you seemed into it. It seemed like my only option to get out of the situation was to get it over with and just get it out of my mind. and. I mean, that's what ended up happening. And how'd you feel when it was over? Disgusted. I felt like I was embarrassed. And I was just shocked that I, that I actually did that. I just, I just, I kept trying to put it out of my mind. And when I think about Gary, the whole situation just makes me feel stupid and tricked. Well, it started out as one thing, and the money started coming in, and it turned into extortion, you know. Whatever. So I started making the money, and he said, well, we got to do it this way. You know, this is your bread and butter. You don't do it. I'm cutting you out. We're tearing down the website. No, I don't do, I don't do that at all. I have my own website, which is uh, it's oh. completely under my control. Um, I'm a part of every part of it. I'm the entrepreneur. I'm developing my own pictures. I take part in all the pictures, um, the planning, the scripting, the apparel, the hair, um, where we shoot, how we shoot. Um, yeah, I have, it's my website. I have my own website. It's not... Um, yes, um, whenever he could come outside and play. He was a pretty decent kid. Um, he uh, dressed fine. He acted fine. I mean, nothing unusual. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That 
that will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> we'll... 
but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> change. That will never change. <laughs> That will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. <laughs> Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs> but that will never change. Change. That will never change. <laughs>